The world knows him for his perfect image. He was voted as the best father figure and was even called America's dad. So how does his very own son, Chet, thinks the opposite? I didn't have like a, a strong male role model. And why does our beloved Tom Hanks call himself this? I couldn't be a worse, couldn't be a worse father. Night fam. This video will show you that more often than not, it's harder to be a good parent than to be a big celebrity. See, little Tom Hanks had to suffer the pains of his parents' divorce. At a young age of five, he faced the burden of choosing between mom or dad. And things got even worse when he was growing up. Tom had to move around a lot because of his father's work. He didn't have a place that he could call home. And his father's long list of broken marriages became his only image of family. So, when he was old enough to build the family he couldn't have. Tom Hanks married his high school sweetheart, Samantha Lewis. Not out of love, but just to save him from loneliness. They had two kids, Colin and Elizabeth. And just like anything built for the wrong reasons, his marriage fell apart. At that time, he spent all his time working. His then young son, Colin, was forced to travel 400 miles every other weekend just to see him. Tom became so overwhelmed with having a family that his only way out was divorce. That was the first time Tom Hanks became the very person he swore he will never be. He became just like his own father. A broken marriage meant I was sentencing my own kids to the sort of feelings I had at their age. And whether we are a big celebrity or not, truth is, many people do the same exact mistake. I know my father did. Sometimes we exhaust our time and efforts only to chase personal success, taking for granted the closest people in our lives, our family, our friends, our lovers, the people who see our faults and mistakes but still choose to accept and love us. Soon, Tom Hanks tried again to build a family with actress Rita Wilson. This time, supposedly, for all the right reasons, with love as a foundation. They had two kids, Chet and Truman. But just like before, once again, Tom was more focused on his career than his children. All while his son Chet was also getting famous for all the wrong reasons. Chet was arrested for trashing a hotel room, drug addiction and abusing his partner. I didn't have like a, a strong male role model. When Chet spiraled out of control, Tom Hanks also drowned in self-blame. He admitted in one interview that he wasn't able to guide his son while growing up. So why is it harder to be a good parent than a big celebrity? Well, it's easy to be selfish and chase what you want. But it's never easy to put your loved ones as the ones you always care for first. Tom Hanks wanted more movies, more money, more success, which automatically made him less of a father to his children. I couldn't be a worse, couldn't be a worse father and I couldn't be a worse human being. And this is where we reach the inspiring point. Because it's never too late to be a good parent. Tom Hanks has acknowledged his mistakes and made up for them. He created opportunities for his children in Hollywood. He supported Chet to recover from addiction. He started spending time with his family, telling them how much he appreciates them whenever he can. A man is blessed. A man is blessed with a family sitting down front like that. A wife who is fantastic in every way, who has taught me what love is. Five kids who are braver and stronger and wiser than their old man is. And as someone whose dad was never there, I myself can tell you that when I have a child, I will make sure to be there for them. May this story remind you to never neglect those people who count on you. Because if there's anything we can learn from Tom Hanks' journey is that no amount of success will ever be worth neglecting the people you love. It teaches us that truthfully it's harder to be an amazing parent than a big celebrity. It teaches us that even someone as globally loved and successful as Tom Hanks needs to work 
work even harder on being a good parent.